know. Tatsächlich die letzte Flasche. Oh no. Also wenn wir noch eine wollen, dann sind wir... Dann seid ihr aufgeschmissen. Ja. Aber ich ich glaube, wir haben auch andere leckere Weine. Ich glaube auch. <lacht> Okay, is this working? The sound? Perfect. So I'm just gonna pour the wine and um, yeah, you know what, why not? Maybe I'm just gonna introduce you right away to this lovely Couravant that for me as sometimes the only person who drinks wine and who has so many bottles of wine to drink, this is like a huge savior. And it is basically, a, it is a device that allows you to open the wine without really opening it. So if you're alone, uh, a, a lonely drinker in your family, this is great. So it has this needle here that kind of penetrates the cork and it has gas right here. So with the help of that gas, it extracts, it extracts, yeah, extracts, you know what I mean, the correct amount or just a little bit of the liquid and then you can manipulate the extraction with this little button here. No, yeah, button. So um, what you have to do is you just have to remove the, the foil on the wine and then basically you just kind of hug it in and then you inject the needle into the cork. Sometimes it doesn't work very smoothly. And then with the help of this little button, I'm just gonna gently press once and then the wine is extracting. It's just dripping very slowly, but it doesn't damage the wine. The wine can live like this for, I'm telling you, like a month and a half, two months. Okay, so Chenon today, the star gray variety. I've got two different producers. Both are 100% uh, very much dedicated to Chenon, and both wines that I have today are 100% Chenon. So, or Chenon Blanc, whatever you prefer. Um, so the grey variety, first and foremost, I think it's quite often overlooked. Uh, people tend to forget about it, that this grey variety exists. And I think the trend is moving towards reviving the reputation of Chanel because it is such a versatile grey variety. It's quite easy to work and you can make so many different styles with Chanel. You can make sparkling wine, 
you can make sweet wines and of course you can make dry wines like the ones that I have here lined up. So super versatile and, and virtually um, I don't really I can't really think of any other grape variety that can produce such a variety of um, styles. Oh, so one more thing about Chanon is that this grape variety is not supposed to be consumed in its youth. It needs about five to six years to really brighten up. This is a very, very profound, very expressive grape variety, especially the winemaker knows what he's doing with it. And I've got two producers here. First, winemaker is Arnaud Lambert. He is, if you know your Chenin Blanc or Cabernet Franc, this is the basically the two grape varieties that he primarily works with. Um, if you know those two grape varieties and if you love the Loire Valley, you have probably heard of Arnaud Lambert. He's a winemaker with a great reputation and really some spectacular wines. He's among the leading producers that represent the Loire Valley and the grey variety Chenin Blanc and the red grey variety Cabernet Franc. So I started kind of digging in a little about a little bit about him and I uh, found out that he's actually quite a new to the winemaking world especially if you compare to the whole you know French tradition of having five six twenty generations of winemakers he's only the second generation of winemakers so his father was the one who started the whole wine thing in 1996 in 2009 he decides to convert his winery into organic and then in 2019 10 years later he decides to go all the way to the extreme if you will and make biodynamic for practice biodynamic winemaking both his, in his vineyard and in his uh, cellar and so as a result he's known to produce these very precise uh, wines very profound expressive Chenin Blancs with lots of tension with lots of grip on your palate and very straightforward so I'm talking mineral not too you know tutti fruity kind of Swedish stuff no this is direct this is this is very um, without makeup this is very precise and this is kind of getting right there into your skin and one thing I really love about Arnaud Lambert is that I think that you can actually drink his wines quite young and this is how he means it as well oh and one more thing <laughs> he's very handsome I mean, look at him. I, I'm just super handsome, <laughs> which is of course not 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 as if it was you know any criteria for me. But I mean, just saying. Anyway, why don't we just? Okay, so this this one comes from the uh, place which is called Brezé, which is in the central uh, Loire Valley. Now, Brézé is known to be the wine site for Chenin. It's, it's had a reputation for producing um, the most profound, the most expressive Chenins. So um, great for Arnaud Lambert of having a little site, a little parcel, which is called, which is called Clos de la Rue, right in the center of, uh, of where they make the most profound Chenins. And one of the reasons why these Chenins are so famous come up with a better word like that than that. So one of the reasons why these Chenons are so unique is partly because of the soil. So we have this, this really interesting combination of um, old soil types. On one hand, you have this very unique soil type, which is called uh, Truffaut, which is basically porous limestone, which contributes um, to the minerality, to this, to, to this tension, to this grip that the wine, that uh, Chenons from Brézé have. And then you have this other soil, soil type, which is a bit of sand, sand and a bit of um, flint stone. And this flint stone quality is going to contribute to these wonderful um, smoky notes in the wine. So I've already smelled it and I think it is just giving me already this, this um, as if the little fire was going on or more as if, 
as if someone would just try to make fire, you know, with this two flint stone kind of rubbing them against each other. Not too fruity, I'd say. If fruity, then lots of citrus fruits. The oak is super well integrated. Maybe, I mean, this was aged in oak, but in, it was aged in um, used oak, so it's not going to be dominant here anyway. Maybe just if you open it at the first, but then we, when you swirl the glass, it's just everything is, is going to evaporate. Evaporate, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so there's a lot of um, citrus fruits. Maybe a bit of like a candied citrus fruit going on, but like limey, it has a very distinct limey quality. And I see, I don't know if you can see, yes, you can. <laughs> the color is beautiful. Chanel is um, a grape variety that if you leave it to age a couple of years, it's going to give you this beautiful, lush, golden color. Look at this. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah. So it's a 2017, still a bit too young, but again, I guess his wines are meant to be drunk young. Mm. Oh God. Wow. You know what? I thought it was a little shy on the nose. Oh, this is giving me goosebumps. There is so much going on. There is so much tension. My mouth is what I'm salivating like. It's like it, it gives you, it, it grabs your palate, grabs your tongue, and then kind of like pushes it on, on front so that you have this, this, this saliva. It's kind of like <laughs> the mouth is watering so much it's unbelievable there's so much grip there's so much minerality there's the salty finish there's the smoky note going on it is just lovely wow and i thought it was shy on them on the nose because i thought oh, okay you know <sighs> wow this is this can age for a long time definitely a gastronomic wine the wines with acidity are are the wines that are the food friendliest wines if you don't like acidity, this is not for you because it's extremely, I love the wines that are, that have this profound acidity, but it's not just acidity. It gives you, it gives you the feeling of very refreshing feeling. Great, great beginning, great start. Thank you, Monsieur Lambert. Okay, and now we have, wait a second. Now we have a um, second contestant. Um... This is a couple, again, Chenon Blanc, but this is, this time it's a couple. Um, her name is Coralie and his name is Damien Delicheneau. They're also in the Loire Valley and they have founded a uh, winery which is called La Grange Tiffem. Just a beautiful blue, uh, absolutely love it, like a little sky, summer sky blue. Beautiful label, really beautiful. Coralie is very um, sensual person. She's a very honest winemaker and Damien, he has this, this calm, but at the same time, fun energy. They are very much fond of music, which I, again, many winemakers in the Loire are, and they make a lot of these kind of metaphors about music and wine, and they really engage it. And, you know, one of the signs why they, uh, that they love music, you can see on their, on the label, because here is this, you know, the musical key. And uh, the name of the wine is Clé du Sol, which has kind of this double meaning because the key of the soil, this already gives the, us an idea of their winemaking style, that they really want to express the place as opposed to um, grey variety itself. So the place, the origin of where the vines are planted um, plays a very important role. And then on the other hand, a clé uh, really means uh, the key, so the musical key, and uh, yeah, something very melodical, something very sensual, which is kind of the vibes that I get when I think about those two. Super happy to taste this one. This will be a little younger. This is a 2019, yep, 2019 vintage. Until recent, really, Chanel was a great variety that actually 
uh, was consumed mostly locally. So it was produced in the Loire Valley and it feels super comfortable there and it was consumed there. So only 15% of the a whole Chenin production in the Loire, Loire Valley was exported. The rest was consumed um, locally or nationally. And uh, Kuali really, I think that she has this very deep connection with uh, Chanel Blanc, as strange as it may sound, but she also, she actually acknowledges it and she says, this is my favorite grape variety. This is, I love to, to, um, to work Chanel. So I'm really happy to, to see what she, well, actually I've already, <laughs> I've already had this wine many times and I absolutely adore it. And I am just very fond of, of her winemaking style. Now, because this one is there, winemaking style, Damien's also there. This is the 2019, so it's going to be quite, it's going to be a little younger and that means it's more shy. You really needed some time to open up. If you want to consume Chanel Young, just really consider um, decanting it. Two, three hours. This is what it says on the website, by the way. If you just check out the website of La Grange Tiffaine, you're going to see that they, right there in the first page describing the wine, they just go ahead and just, you know, shoot it and say, dude, decant our wines because if you're not, you're just not going to be able to get the full expression, you know, get the full gist of it. So yeah, decant it, don't be shy. White wines can also be decanted, absolutely fine. I don't do it because, <laughs> because I don't know why. I just, I, don't decant my white wines, which I should really start doing because I advise it very often, but never mind. It almost gives me the feeling of this white tea or green tea. You don't have much going on in the, on the nose, but on the palate, again, lots of grip. And then the difference between the two would be that here you have these almost like raw citrus fruits. And this one has just a tiny touch of sweetness to it, to it. So think of like more like a tangerine, you know, more like it's skins of the tangerine and a ripe orange, also citrus fruits. But if the wine from Arnaud Lambert, the Saumur would be more lime lemon, this is more orange, ripe orange and uh, yeah, and definitely a little bit of tangerine. So kind of those kind of yellow, uh, uh, orangey <laughs> fruits. Do you know what I mean? Just maybe like a touch of, oh, just a touch of this kind of like peachy feeling, you know, a white peach. Maybe a little bit of pear too. Definitely lots of pear. Oh yeah, they just both, they are so beautiful. And I can only imagine how fantastic it could be in, three to four years, this would definitely be a, you know, a big, you know what the Germans say? They say großes Kino, a big movie. I don't know. <laughs> so fantastic. I have been rambling on for, for 20 minutes now and I think this is, this is enough. So I should probably. So thank you for sticking around and uh, I'll see you soon for 